Nigerians. Nigeria is a great country. It has ever been a great country. It has ever been a great nation. Before even the arrival of the Europeans into the country. So Nigeria has ever been great. That you must understand. That you must know. Ancient fathers, our ancestors, our fathers of old were great people. They were not poor. Mentally, psychologically, they were not poor. They were great people. So Nigeria has ever been a great nation before even the arrival of the Europeans. And this you must understand that the British were not the first to arrive in Nigeria. The British were not the first to arrive in Nigeria. The Portuguese are, have arrived in Nigeria during the 14th century. Yes, someone like Alfonso has already been in Nigeria precisely in the Benin Kingdom during that 14th century. And other great Portuguese have also been in Nigeria during the 14th century to see the beauty and the greatness of Nigerian people. So the British were not the first to come here. The Portuguese were here to see the beauty, to see the greatness, to see the, the achievements of Nigerian people. Now the British came in to control, to influence, to enslave these great people. That is the reason why they came. They did not come to, to, to pay homage. The Portuguese actually came to see this beauty, to pay homage to this knowledge, to this beauty, to this greatness of the African people or the Nigerian people precisely. But the British came in to annex or influence or control these great people with their greatness. And how did they go about doing this? They used the mechanism known as the transatlantic slave trade, which is also called the Euro-America slave trade. Taking our people down to their own area to work in their farms. Because they just want to have a control of this greatness. But you must not be fooled by this as in Nigeria, that you are a great person. Your ancestors were great. Your parents are great. And you are still great. So Nigeria as a nation is a great nation. Having great people, they reign. Yes. Now you understand that many of us have not been able to discover this greatness in our lives we have misused some qualities in us that would have helped us to become great and that is the function or the result of what we are seeing today that even at this age that Nigeria has attained if you want to count from the time of independence this age that we have attained it seems we are still babies. It seems we are still babies. It seems that nothing great has come to us. Yes. Because a lot of us have not been able to find out or to discover the greatness that God has put in us. Because the truth is this. Greatness is our genetic factor. Let me use that word. Greatness is a genetic factor. So, every Nigerian is supposed to be great because greatness is part of us. So, only a few have been able to discover this. The British were able, in a way, to control our greatness using this slave trading method. Yes. For which they so much used it in a way that our psychology, our emotions, 
were being affected in that ancient time. Remember they actually called us the Royal Niger Company Territories? That was actually established. That organization was actually established. That farm, that ward was actually established for a merchandise purpose. So, they, they tagged the Nigerian people and the community that seems to put them, the Royal Niger Company. Now, they succeeded in doing what they did, worked on the psychology of our people, the mental strength of our people, and after a successful planning, they eventually conquered the ancient Nigerian people conquered them physically, conquered them psychologically, conquered them emotionally, and also conquered economically. Such that the old Nigerian was under the responsibility of the British colonial office from the 19th century, who've been in that process. Now, this physical torture was ended, but yet the control of our economy, our psychology, our emotion is still actively in practice, such that today so many Nigerians have concluded in their lives that the only way they can make success is to escape from this country or to leave this country and go to the foreign world. The leaders, religious leaders, political leaders especially, traditional leaders, have also concluded in their leadership skills that they could, they could only make success if they totally depend on the support system of the British world. These are all still function of slavery. Now, if you truly a free man, they, you need to break yourself out from these principles and have eaten deep into your psychology, eaten deep into your emotion, making you feel that you cannot stand as a person. Now, this mentality has affected a, a lot of areas or if not all, a lot of area or sectors of the Nigerian people. It has affected education. It has affected the medicals. It has affected power. It has affected oil and gas. A lot of area you could think, you could think of. This mentality that we cannot stand alone. We cannot do it alone. We cannot wake up and become greater people until our support is given to us by the foreign world. That mentality need to be destroyed. Nigerian people, the Africans, you can stand up with little or no support from the foreign world. Yes. Yes. This idea of we cannot do it, the white must give us a support, has eaten deep into a lot of sectors of the country. So the chain of leadership has become so corrupted that even if you're a good leader at the peak, you still be termed a bad leader because a good Thing you are releasing down to touch the masses is being affected. Yes. It's been affected by the people that surround you. So you can see that the leadership chain is bad. So that leadership chain needs to be corrected, needs to be washed, needs to be purified. Otherwise, Nigerian system will keep being like this. So we need to change our mentality. We need to wake up. Just like Jesus said, many are called but few are choosing. I can also tell you, many are called Nigerians, but only few are true Nigerians. Let the true Nigerians wake up, change their mentality, change their emotions, change the way they see Nigeria because Nigeria is a great country. Nigeria is a great nation. If we wake up and work as a team, if we wake up 
and put ourselves in order. If we can wake up and put things the right way, then what we see as a menace will simply be reduced <coughs> because the world, Nigeria, is going totally decayed. Educational system is bad. Medical system is bad. In the federal hospitals, state hospitals, you cannot take proper treatment until you are able to grease the palms of the medical personnel. Once you cannot do that, it means your person will remain somewhere there and just die. In the educational system, same thing is seen there to the point that in the current Nigeria that we see ourselves, many schools put it compulsorily on the students writing WASI, the West African examination, to always pay a certain amount of money for all their practicals they write, which ought not to be so after registering for the examinations. Why is it so? Because the supervisor also has paid money to someone before he was being posted to that particular station or school. So if they come with a bone and a flower for practical, for example, the student will need to pay a certain amount of money for that which I have brought. And that money will be shared among the supervisors and the proprietor or proprietors of the schools. Nigeria is getting worse every day. I was thinking that at this age that we have attained in life as a country, then we should start becoming a better people as we look back on where we are coming from. But the story is a different one. The more we grow in age, the more we become bad or worse as a country. So we need to make a change. We need to change our reasoning and see Nigeria as a better place and see Nigeria as a great country and put hands together to make this to become a reality. Clean your world. Every individual should clean or sanitize his own part. Then Nigeria will generally be sanitized and the chain of leadership will become a better chain. This struggle of attaining this peak of success, we should not relent in that struggle. We should wake up and struggle. We should wake up and fight the fight to greatness. We should not relent. This fight has been for long and we are still on the, in the same course. We should not relent. So I wish you a better struggle to greatness. Nigeria is our country. We are one people, one nation. Nigeria is our own. Nigeria is